Hey friends, today I'm gonna to be giving you a mini masterclass on CBO or campaign budget optimization. I'm gonna show you how to turn on CBO, when to use CBO versus ad set budgeting, and I'm gonna show you the four advanced CBO strategies that I use every single day to create scalable revenue. But first things first, what is CBO? CBO or campaign budget optimization allows you to set your Facebook ads budget at the campaign level as opposed to the ad set level. And to dive deeper, this essentially allows Allows the Facebook algorithm to pull your budget into the ad sets where it thinks it's going to get the best results. So instead of maintaining a consistent budget for each ad set on any given day, Facebook is actually going to allow itself to put your money in the place where it thinks it's going to get the best results, which ultimately means you're going to get better performance overall. So it's kind of funny, for a while Facebook actually said they were going to be doing away with ad set budgeting completely and you were only going to be allowed to set your budget at the campaign level. Thankfully, a few months ago in mid-2020, Facebook very quietly announced that they were actually going to allow advertisers to keep the choice of choosing to set their budget at the ad set or campaign level. Which is pretty cool, because even though I only use ad set budgeting for a few instances, this was like a really big stressor for advertisers over the last year who were trying to figure out how to use CBO to test new audiences, scale their budgets, it was just a mess. So. Thanks, Facebook. Before we dive into advanced tactics, I actually just wanna talk a little bit about how to set up your CBO campaign. So you're actually gonna be able to set up a CBO campaign at the campaign level when creating a new campaign in Facebook ads. First, you're gonna choose the objective, and then you're gonna have the option before moving on to ad set creation to choose CBO. And once you flip on CBO to optimize your budget across ad sets, you'll be able to put in your daily budget and select your bidding strategy. Now, Facebook automatically selects lowest cost. And if if you're new to advertising, I would go ahead and just keep it at that. But you also have three additional bid structures, which include cost cap, bid cap, and target cost. And I know in some other ad accounts, you actually have options like minimum ROAS, but that's not actually something that's rolled out across all of my accounts. So the next big question I always get is when should I use CBO or when should I use ad set budgeting? Again, in the land of Facebook ads, there are two ways to set your budget. One is at the ad set level and one is at the campaign level, which is CBO. And while it's important to always test, 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 I do find that there there are specific instances where I always use ad set budgeting and where I'm much more likely to use CBO budgeting. So for ad set budgeting, there's only really one instance where I almost always use this, and this is when I'm testing out new audiences. And the reason why that is is because I find that I actually need to have more control over that daily budget so that I can make sure I'm getting the right amount of impressions to properly evaluate if this ad set is going to work for me. I tend to find when using CBO or for testing out new ad sets or new audiences that the budget will pull into one ad set or the other and I'm not actually able to control that spend so I can't properly evaluate whether or not it's working and frankly that's really the only time that I use it <laughs> now CBO there are two major instances where I always use CBO which are pretty much everything that's left and number one is for retargeting I always use CBO for my broad retargeting campaigns who are targeting people like website visitors and social engagers and I also use it for my DPA or catalog sales campaigns those are people who viewed a product or even added it to cart and the reason why I do this is because I find that Facebook is actually so much smarter than me in knowing which retargeting audiences are more likely to convert on any given day. And the second place where I always use CBO is for my scaling prospecting campaigns. So these are campaigns that contain audiences that I've already been testing through ad set and I know that they're winners and I know that they work really well. So I like to put those into CBO campaigns so that I can start scaling them up using CBO. I find that when I try to scale things using ad set budgeting, number one, it's a lot more work for me and two, it just doesn't tend to work as good. Next up is the real meat of this mini masterclass. These are the advanced structures that I use to create scalable revenue using CBO. So there are four structures that I actually really like to use when scaling up an account on Facebook ads. Number one is the guiding ad set structure. And this is really Facebook recommended. It's something that my reps really passionate about and I always see them talking about on their webinars. Number two is top ad sets. That's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm not gonna give it away now. Number three is the best ad sets at different percentages. And number four is the super lookalike, super interest ad set, plus a broad ad set. And I know what you're thinking, which structure should I use? To be honest, that always depends on millions of things. But when I dive into what each of these structures is actually all about, I'm gonna give some recommendations along the way. And as always, if one does not work out, you gotta test something else. So first we're gonna begin with the Facebook recommended guiding ad set structure. And frankly, this is a really great place to start if you're brand new to CBO. And essentially it's this. You're gonna take your best performing ad set, duplicate it into a new CBO campaign, and then you're gonna create a broad ad set in that same campaign that gives the bare minimum parameters for your customer avatar. 
We're talking about age range, gender, and geolocation, and that's it. No interest targeting or lookalike layering. This brings the total number of ad sets in the CBO campaign to two. The idea here is that your best performing ad set is gonna train the broad ad set to find people who look exactly like your best customers out of that best performing ad set. So essentially the algorithm is gonna be training that broad ad set and do the dirty work so that you don't have to go through tons of amount of testing. I will say that I do find the structure often starts out slow. Maybe you're gonna get just a few purchases out of your best performing ad set and the broad ad set isn't gonna get as much spend, but then you're gonna see after a few days, maybe even a week, that that broad ad set is gonna start taking more and more of your budget and then ultimately getting more and more results. And the next advanced structure I wanna talk about is top ad sets, which yes, is pretty self-explanatory. And I do find that this is the best ad set when you have a bit of a smaller budget. And simply all you're gonna do is you're gonna take all of your best performing ad sets into a CBO campaign. And here I do generally recommend limiting it to five or six ad sets. And if you have fewer ad sets than five or six, that's totally fine. The most important thing is that they just perform well for you. And what I really like about this structure is that you're gonna continue to find which ad sets are still driving results for you. And if you find that some ad sets aren't driving as many results, then you can actually just go ahead and turn them off. Now the next ad set structure I wanna talk about is your best look like ad sets at different percentages. And it's actually probably best to just begin with an image of this structure. So what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see your best performance performing lookalike segmented to different percentage points. So you have one at 1%, one at 1 to 2%, 2 to 3%, 3 to 4%, and 4 to 5%. Now I've actually tested this structure all the way up to 10 ad sets, and that's for the 10 percentage points that you can actually go up to when creating your lookalike audiences. But I actually found way more success just limiting this to five ad sets. Test at your own risk. Now the setup of this structure can be kind of complex. But if it works for you, the results can be super sweet. And this is especially true if you have a really hard time prospecting out of one single lookalike audience that tends to have great returns for you. Just be sure that when you're setting up this campaign that you exclude the different lookalikes from one another. So for the 1% audience would be excluded from the one to two, the two to three, to three to four, the four to five, and so on for each ad set. And the fourth structure is a super lookalike audience plus a broad ad set. Now this one is actually my personal favorite. And I actually find it's the ultimate scaling campaign for your conversion to purchase or even your lead generation campaigns. And this campaign tends to work so well because you've already tested and vetted these audiences. And it includes both lookalike and interest targeting, so you're really working with the highest quality amount of people. Again, this is kind of like the Facebook recommended structure. What's going to happen is this super interest, super lookalike audience is going to be training and guiding your broad ad set, but it's just going to have so much more data points, which is why I often find it so much more effective. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this mini masterclass. I actually find that CBO is super polarizing amongst other advertisers. Even advertisers that have been using Facebook ads for years, sometimes I find that they don't adventure out and try CBO, which is such a shame because I do find that I get a lot better results using CBO, but only with retargeting and those audiences that have been previously vetted. However, I would really love to get a second opinion on this CBO stuff. And luckily I actually live with someone who also works in Facebook ads every day. So let's go bother him. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question about CBO? What's the question about CBO? <laughs> I'm just my retainer right now, so I look like a dog. What's up? Okay, is there like always an instance where you use CBO versus ad set budgeting? CBO, okay, as a budgeting, only when I'm testing audiences, but cold audiences. I taught him that. Yeah. I knew that before you, okay? <laughs> Take credit for that. But what about like when you're, like when do you always use CBO? Campaign scaling, for example, and I already, when I already have my winning audiences. Oh, come on, don't take credit, go away. <laughs>